one of the youngest managers in the game, just 30 years young, and represents now three of the eight male champions in the UFC. That's almost 50%, for goodness sakes. 170, Leon Edwards, 185, Israel Desanya, 205, Yuri Prochaska. He's Tim Simpson of Paradigm Sports, kind enough to join us here. There he is. Hello, Timbo. How are you? Morning, Ariel. Morning. I'm good, man. Thank you for doing Very this. Good. Are you in the same room right now? Is this is this weird that we just shifted to a different corner of the room? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. We're in different rooms. Okay. Uh, thank you for doing this. Congratulations. You know, I don't know if you saw this. Uh, did you see the Izzy YouTube clip of him watching the fight? Yeah. Yeah, I just saw it this morning. I thought that was really interesting because obviously he's very close with Kamaru. They're, they're brothers. They have a great relationship. Yeah. But he kept saying, but I'm so happy for Tim. And, and I said this before you came on, like it shows the relationship and the connection and the friendship that you have with your clients. And so given that relationship, given that connection and given everything that Leon has been through, could you describe what Saturday night felt like for you? No, <laughs> I literally can't, man. It's, it's, it's like, it's surreal. It feels, for some reason, it feels like it was a week ago. Like it's only been two nights, like, being here in vet, like we, we came to Vegas yesterday and just like me and Leon got kind of like a, a couple of minutes alone and, and just like had, had a chat and let it sink in a little bit. But it's like, it's not real, man. It's like, it's like, it's not real. It's crazy. Like to describe it, it's, I've, I've never really felt like that in my life. Like, like me and Leon said, it, it's like never in my life have I gotten so emotional over, over something happy like obviously you know you, you you cried sad sad tears but i've never i've never been in a position like like that where where it was overwhelmed with emotion you know it's it's been such a long journey and the way that it happened was the way that it had to happen you know what i mean the way that that last minute around five like that's just leon in a nutshell and it's just happened the way it has to happen and i can't i can't really you know describe it other than that just surreal it's so surreal. The amazing thing about your face and your state right now is that I feel like we're talking on Saturday night. Like, I feel like you are incredibly emotional two days later. Yeah. 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 I know the, the thing you said about like, is he, and is he saying he's happy? He got me a little bit as well. Cause you know, that, that, that guy means a lot to me as well. So I, I didn't see that. I just saw him reacting to the knockout. I didn't actually see him. Oh, wow. That, so. Yeah. He said it afterwards multiple times. How He had mixed emotions because he loves Usman, but he loves you too. And he was happy for you. Yeah. So just incredible. And send me a message right after, yeah. And it was just like, yeah, just all of that. It's just emotional. Just, it's overwhelming. It's so overwhelming. It's crazy. What are you thinking going into the fifth round? Are, are you thinking, man, this isn't going, did you, did you lose hope? How are you feeling? It was like, it was, it was, I was, I was sitting next to, to, to Camby, his, his wrestling coach who wasn't in the corner. And I was like, man, th there's something wrong with him. Like it was, it was like, this isn't Leon, you know, we know how good he is. Like I've been saying for five years, I know this guy could be a champion and, and he just wasn't making a good account of himself. And it was, it was just like, what, what's wrong? Like what, what is, what, what's up? Like, is he, why is he tired? We obviously the elevation and it was just like, man, it, it was that feeling of like, not, not lost hope, but it was like, damn, like it's just, he, he's, he can make such a better account of himself. So it was, it was a little bit deflating and just like a bit frustrating. Like, man, he's, he's so much better than this. And then bang, and then, then everything changes. Do you, do you, can you even describe like what you did in that moment when you saw the, the head kick? <laughs> I've like severely injured my neck. Like at really? some stage celebrate. Yeah. Like I, <laughs> something happened there. I remember on stage, I like bear hugged on the ground, like mounted can be, there was me and Camby and then, um, and then, um, two of Leon's sponsors and, and friends, Danny and Key were there as well. We're just jumping all over each other, screaming, just screaming and crying and making a ridiculous scene, but just raw, you know, just raw emotion. And, uh, I saw a clip and I'm not trying to make this into any type of thing here, but correct me if I'm wrong. Like, were you pretty close to Kamaru's team as well? I feel like everyone in there was Kamaru's team. <laughs> like he's got, he's a, he's a popular guy. He's a lot. Of, we're in like the fighter section, and obviously Kamaru is like, he, he's such, he's so well established, and he's he's in the US, and he's got a lot of friends, and and yeah, I feel like that whole section was was rooting for Kamaru, except for four of us in there. Actually, no, Jalen Turner was sitting in yeah. front of us as well, and he he was gone nuts. I, I don't, he, he was awesome too, but yeah, that I feel like that entire section were Kamaru's friends. 
it's cool. But yeah, we, we're all in together. Was that weird being so close to them? Nah, it was just like, I, I, I was in the back until like right before the fight. So I was just like trying not to hyperventilate and I was just trying to, everything else was kind of blocked out around it. You know, I didn't, I didn't really notice it. Got it. Um, in terms of like the way everything went down and the, the last few, like, would you say, and, and I asked you about this privately before the fight, but I'm just curious, like the whole journey and then the way this fight, you just said it had to happen this way for Leon. You have been witness, you know, to a witness to a lot of insane moments in the sport at a very young age. Is it appropriate to ask if this one tops them all? Like if you put the whole freaking story together and now the finish as well, like how this fight played out, have you ever felt anything like this? No, I'll be honest and say no. You know, a diplomatic answer is, is you know, I've got, I've got, um, you know, so many clients and, and so many amazing moments and, and they all are very meaningful. Like look what happened with just Yuri in, in, in September. That was amazing. And, and I love Yuri as well. And, you know, I've, I've been fortunate to be involved in a lot of really big moments, but I'm going to be honest with you and say that was, that was the, the biggest and most special, just everything that's been going on, you know, me and, me and Leon personally, and just everything, like everything that's, that's led up to it. It really meant a lot. When did you first meet Leon? Um, 20, 2017. Jimmy, Jimmy Manawa introduced us. Leon was um, looking for new management. And um, Jimmy Manawa, who, you know, a very good friend and brother of ours, was, was already a client of ours. And, and he said, um, Leon, you should speak to Audi and Tim. So we, then we got, we got connected through, through Jimmy. And um, I went out to Birmingham in 2017. And we've started working together since then. So 2017, 2018, 2019, he's on the roll. And then obviously, like the last three years, well documented. At, at any point, like you, you've never dealt with anyone like this, right? Like in terms of like the bad luck, the roadblocks removed from the rankings. Was he ever close to being gone? Like, did, did you ever think there was a period where like this just isn't going to work out for him in the UFC and he's going to get screwed and they're going to release? Like, did it ever get that bad? No, no, because, because like, you know, you have it like, wow, is there, is there, is there something else we can do here? Because at times it felt like nothing was going our way, but he always believed it. And then, you know, it's everything starts and ends. Everything starts and ends with a client, you know, and he always believed it. And, and he always knew we always like, he always, he always knew, he said, I, I've known I'm the best in the world for the past three years. And it was just about the opportunity. So there was a lot of down moments, but, um, yeah, there, there was always that it was going to correct itself. Right. There was always belief that, that with patience and time, everything was going to be made right. And it was going to correct itself. So, um, it, there was definitely some down times, but we always knew. We always knew. I remember a few times talking, I don't know which cancellation, which roadblock it was, but we talked on the phone, you're like, oh, it's, uh, you know, it's 1 a.m. in Birmingham right now. You live in the States. So I'm like, you were saying, I, I'm dreading this phone call. Like tomorrow, you know, like there were a few phone calls that I'm sure you had to make to him that were just not fun, right? Yeah, many, <laughs> many. Five, six terrible phone calls. It's it's always the same thing. It's like you have just like a, a, a your stomach sinks as you're dialing his number, and like I've got to tell him this that, that something's happened again, over and over and over. Yeah, and and the time difference, you know, it always it always makes it rough. Like it's not he's got to wake up first thing in the morning and, and get crushed again. Right. How was Utah, by the way? It was it was fun. It was nice. You know, we had we had a lot of fun out there. It's it's it was a weird city for it all to happen. <laughs> but again, it's like it's Leon, and it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful place. Like the weather was nice. We got out in the mountains. We had a lot of great people that that, that looked after us, and gyms that that really supported us, and um, everyone out there was was really cool. It was fun. Okay, so uh, he's going back at some point to Birmingham. Uh, I know you're spending some time there. He's got his birthday. What do we got from like the business of Leon right now? What do we got? It, has business changed? What, what is, I know it's fresh, but tell us, like, give, give us an inside look here. I'm sure there's people coming out of the woodwork for this young man now. Yeah. I honestly like spent, I was yesterday was Sunday, Saturday. I couldn't keep up with the messages. Sunday, try to chop through, um, like all the messages and, 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 you know, WhatsApps, iMessages, emails, Instagrams. 
And then looking at this morning, it's just all backed up again. So I'm still kind of digging through it. But there's so many people that like we've been, we've been, you know, if you're talking commercially, a lot of people passed on Leon in the past, uh, uh, right? A lot of, a lot of people passed on Leon and, and all these opportunities about his brands, whether it's interviews, whether it's shows. So a lot of people passed on him over the past few years, right? Particularly before this fight. And then it's funny. It's like now, now it's like, all right, the price just went up, motherfucker. Uh, uh, <laughs> I love so it. It's good. It comes with the territory, right? I'm not saying anyone's disingenuous. Obviously, he's, 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 his whole platform's changed now. But yeah, we're, we're going to, you know, that's what really what we do best. And uh, we have some fun stuff coming out, starting with some awesome merch that's going to drop in the next couple of days. So oh. be ready for that. Look at me now. Look at me now. Oh, that's a tremendous Look at line. me now. Great. Headshot bang. Yes. Yeah. The, one, of the, one of the best post-fight interviews I've, I've ever seen. I can't watch it without getting, without crying. Like oh it's, my. it's ridiculous. It's the rawest thing I've ever seen. And we got some really cool stuff coming out. So keep, keep your eyes peeled. Okay. Get on that bandwagon. I can't get enough of Leon content in my life. Like I keep watching the corner work over and over again, all the videos. I'm assuming you're the same. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's like, it's so nice to see. Yeah. Every, everything on my feed is Leon right now. And, um, go get back to reality. It's Monday now. Go get back to <laughs> my, my, my real job. But it's so nice to see the attention that Leon's getting because he fucking deserves it. But, um, the unheralded corner from unheralded corner from Birmingham as well. Like Dave Lavelle is a gem. He's such a, he's like a real life movie character. If you were with him, he's so funny. He's got such a big heart and, and he's such an important part of, 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 of um, Leon's career and his life, you know? Um, so seeing Dave get that attention for, for his corner work and then Henry as well. Like Henry is an amazing technical striking coach that doesn't What's his get full name? a lot of, Henry Clemenson. Okay. Henry is um, like literally we're, we're sitting at the after party back of the house afterwards. And Henry's got like all these videos that he was sending Leon during the week of Kamaru's tendency to, to slip that way. And he's like, it, this was planned. It was deliberate. It was a technique that, that they've, they've drilled. And, it, and, you know, it was something that they, they did save for later in the fight. Like Henry even said, this will be more successful later in the fight. So seeing those boys and, and then Yannick and, and, and Camby and, and Fabian who calls headshot, like he calls head kick five seconds before it happens, you know, seeing that small team in Birmingham and these people that I've, I've known and been close to for, for, for five, six years get that shine as well is, is it's so deserving. It's so deserving. You know, as Dave said, this small team from Birmingham shook up the world. Incredible. Now, what about Birmingham? Are they going to do a parade? You, your boy Yuri got a parade back home. What are we doing <laughs> back there? Working on something. Working on something. He'll get a hero's welcome. Okay, yeah. Something is in the works? Yeah, of course. Okay. Of course, of course. He's, he's, here in, he's here in the U.S. until um, Saturday flies out. Um, so he lands Sunday and um, gets into London. He'll drive up to Birmingham and his people will show out for him. Of course. That's wonderful. Now, uh, I'm yeah. assuming, or correct me if I'm wrong, have they talked to you about what's next? Any conversations in the back, or is it too fresh? Too fresh. I, I, we'll go see. We're here in Vegas. We'll go see the UFC at some stage, but it's only Monday. Yeah. It feels like it's been a week. It's only <laughs> Monday. <laughs> when that conversation happens, they come to you, all right, Tim, Leon, what do you guys want? Do you know what you'll say? Wembley Stadium. <laughs> Get, get Wembley Stadium or something. I think a homecoming fight in the UK is the main goal. The opponent will figure it out, but he, he wants to fight in the UK and he deserves that. Like, it'll be, it'll, be, it'll be massive and I think he deserves that, that homecoming. You know, full circle from 2018. Um, you know, getting booed in, in his home country is, is going to be the hero now and he deserves it. So really, that's the only thing that, that we really, really want. The rest will fall into, fall into line. There's a lot of beautiful ironies, like the fact that he would be the guy to bring them to Wembley if it happens is amazing. The fact that all these guys who wouldn't even look at him now want to fight him is amazing. You know, like there's all these things that now come back and uh, it's sweet poetic justice for him. Do you think that they would really do a, a, an open air stadium? Because they've always been a little skittish on that. You could, like you could, like think of like, you could, there's no way they wouldn't sell that out. The UK fan, they sell out the O2 in like, Three minutes and yeah. then people are clamoring for tickets they, they absolutely could there's so much talent there you know leon i don't want to rattle off all the names Mikhaev, tom aspinall 
um, Arnold Allen, the Patty Pimler and all them, like they could easily sell that out. It would be huge. It would be huge. It w- I mean, okay. So now that's the venue. That's the time. He said next year, obviously it would have to be, it's already almost September. Do you think it's Usman three? I don't want you to say um, this is what, like what, because you can make a case for Masvidal obviously, but he's lost three in a row. Usman was a great chance. You you're not feeling Masvidal. I mean, Leon would love it, but how do you, you know, how, how do you, how do you, how do you do that right now with, with, with where he's at? You know what I mean? I think Leon would love it, but, um, you know, I mean, you could sell it. Yeah, I think he's coming off three, four losses, right? So, yeah, three. Um, who knows? Who so, knows? What, so, what, you think it's Usman three? That's the one that makes the most sense? I, I think so, but again, we'll, we'll see what happens. You know, that it was quite a, it was quite a, um, nasty knockout right and you need time for that um depends what what Usman wants to do as well I'm sure he that's what he wants um but yeah I I, I really I'm not playing coy here we haven't no like, I know we, we've had like brief conversations on it it's just the past 48 hours have been crazy but we'll see you know we, we, we work in partnership with the UFC and and um see what 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 you know what they feel strongly about and Work from there, but really, it's the location which is the biggest thing. And as Leon said, he's like, "I'm top of the mountain now. Bring him on." Yeah. So, but the thing we'll, we'll really fight for is getting it in the UK. What about the curveball? If Nate beats Hamza, you run back Nate. <laughs> that would be sick in the UK. <laughs> what did that, that mean? That would be amazing. <laughs> that would be nuts. Amazing. They sign him. They say, "Forget Jake Paul. Stay here. We'll give you all this money." Speaking of which, Leon going to get a new deal, right? I mean, that's got to be. Come yeah. On. Let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, <laughs> let's go. go. I love when we talk business on the show. Uh, could you explain how? How could you possibly explain um, how a thirty-year-old, a, a newly turned thirty-year-old, now represents? And I know you're going to give me the whole. We have a team and blah 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 blah. I see yeah. you there. You're you're you know front lines, and you do have a great team. And and Audie started it, and he deserves all that credit. But come on, man, seventy. 85, 205, I see you with these guys. How do you explain this? Some yeah. kids probably watching this. I see them in the comments right now on the YouTube. 16,000 people watching. 30 years uh, old, and you're representing these guys. How do you explain this? Just thankful, man. Just really thankful. Like, you know, fuck me up. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, you know, you put, a, you put a lot of your heart into this job. You have to. And just, I'm just thankful. Just thankful. You couldn't have predicted this, right? No, you know that. Like, it's a lot of hard work. And a few years ago, when when Audie, you know, really he, he into the role I'm in now, like like directing and, and and running the MMA division, I was very reluctant to do it at first. You know, this was probably two three years ago, and Audie really wanted me to to to. To, to do this, you know, to, to run the division and take the reins. And I was really reluctant to do it. I, you know, I was managing a few clients. I was helping Audie out a lot with the Connor stuff. And I was like, we butted heads on it a lot. I was like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm Audie, I'm, I'm 26, 27 years old. Like, like I'm still learning in this. Like, I don't want to do it. And Audie and, and Keila really pushed me to do it. Like really pushed me. We butted heads. And I'm so thankful for that. Cause, cause you know, I love Audie and it, it, so thankful for that because because he didn't push me to do it. it it wouldn't things wouldn't happen the way they happen you know so I, I i i love the team and yeah why were you lo- reluctant though i don't know it was just it just felt like a lot it just felt like a lot but that's you need people like that to to challenge you and push you and um you know since since then i've embraced it and i've, I've really we really built an amazing team. Our MMA department in Paradigm. I love all you guys, and we really built this thing. And and we're gonna con- keep building it. You know, we're yeah. gonna keep building it and keep going. How many? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it's a lot of crying. I love it. I love it. I mean, this <laughs> is been like that for the past two days. <laughs> Have you stopped crying? I mean, it feels like just one long cry fest. To uh, uh, best, <laughs> literally, literally, best message you got in the last two days. I don't know. My mum and my mum and dad FaceTime me right after the fight. And that was special. That was special. Um, speak to my mum and dad, and you know, it's so much, so much support for Leon, and and you know, like Izzy, Izzy hit me like right after the fight, and Yuri, and all, all, all like the clients that I work with, people I work with, 
family, friends, everyone. It's like, it's just all been so positive. Like, it's just nice to like, everyone's happy. And just like the way that Leon did it as well. I don't know. When you win and you, you have a lot of friends, but it's, it is genuine. You know, it's just, everything's been special. Everything's been special. And, and if we could end on this, like, what's the special, what's the secret? Like, you know, you can have representation, you can have a manager, but it seems like there's something different that you have with these guys. What is the secret to that? Like, if there's someone who's like, I want to represent, how do you make it more of a friendship brotherhood and not a business relationship? You just got to care, you know, I, you know, I, I, I care. I love this. You know, I've, I've, I've loved combat sports and this is what I want to do. And, and, you know, I, I, I can relate to a lot of these guys and, and I, I, you just got to really care, you know, you just got to really care. It's, it's obviously this is a business and, and you need to treat it like a business, but, um, you know, it's, it's, you're not going to be good at it if it's not personal. It's so hard to be like, oh, you know, don't take it personally and, you know, try and compartmentalize, but it, it's such an intimate job, right? You have to build those, those friendships. You have to build those relationships and, um, you just have to care. You just have to care. And, and, and you know, I, I, if, if, uh, if anything, you know, we all make mistakes and, and no one's perfect and everybody's flawed. But if, if I can say anything, I, I care. I really do. I really do. I see you in there. You're, you're freaking shadow boxing. You're, you're in the trenches <laughs> with these guys. I see you there on your Instagram. Sometimes you break it out. You break out the Muay Thai shorts and stuff. I mean, it's incredible. <laughs> How could they not love you? Um, trying to stay, trying to stay in shape on the road. Much respect, my friend. I can't wait to see what you do Thanks when you're so 40. Well. Unbelievable what you've done so <laughs> far. It's it's an incredible thing to see, and uh, you do it the right way. No one talks smack about you. Even other managers, they all respect you. They all, and you know how these managers are. I mean, there's a lot of shit talking going on behind the scenes, and they all seem to respect you and admire you. And uh, the relationship you have with the fighters is amazing. And seeing you in there with Leon on Saturday was pretty damn cool as well, man. So enjoy this yeah. and. Thank you for doing this, and, and thanks for hooking it up with Leon today, too. Thanks. Thanks, Errol. And Liz, you've always been real, right? And thank you for the support of Leon over the years. And, you know, you and I are behind the scenes have, have had so many conversations about, um, you know, that, that this guy really deserves it, and, and you haven't been afraid to speak your mind and defend the guy and, and really say what's real. So um, that means a lot to me. You know, it means a lot to Leon, but I um, appreciate you and, and, and everybody that, that's supported this journey thanks tim appreciate it congrats thanks Thank there he so is much. tim simpson paradigm what a story what a guy you gotta love it